Welcome back to Summit Sunrise here on TV8 Summit. I'm Ashley and I'm hanging out with Adrian from Arapahoe Basin. How are you, Adrian? Good, thanks for having me. Awesome, yeah, no <laughs> problem. And just a little disclaimer, I also work at Arapahoe Basin, so if I get a little overly enthusiastic, Excited. it's because I love Arapahoe <laughs> Basin, yeah. Awesome. Let's, let's talk about uh, what's going on at Arapahoe. You went skiing and you said it was great off of Norway yesterday. Yeah, you know what? Um, despite the fact that it's been pretty nice in town and we've had only intermittent squalls and a couple inches here and there, the snow on certain parts of the mountain is really blowing in really nicely. So yeah, if you take the Lenaway lift up, and um, this is pretty good for anyone from like a early intermediate skier up to expert. You take a right off the chair, go past patrol headquarters, drop into the knolls. That is a great little tucked in, completely wind filled spot of mm -hmm. snow. And it's just super fun skiing right in that area of the mountain. Yeah, I know exactly where you're talking about. And I think people don't take Norway lifts very often. It's not mm -hmm. always running, but it's a, it's a cute little two-seater. Um, and it's great access to all of that West Wall area snow. Yeah, if you're coming in on the weekend, Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, right there. That's, um, that's right on that western side of the ski area. Everything from slalom over um, to the Knolls and King Cornus is just skiing really great. Yeah, awesome. Um, and no matter what, when it's sunny out, like it's going to be for the next couple of days and mm -hmm. warm, it's a blast to be at Arapahoe Basin. <laughs> um, no matter what the conditions are like, because Black Mountain Lodge, you have a great patio there with Adirondack yes. chairs and down at the Six Alleys, some delicious Bloody Marys, yes. and a deck up there as well. The deck skiing. Mm -hmm. It's what Tom Fricky calls it, deck skiing. I love it. And yeah, you know, just grab a bacon bloody, sit outside for a little bit, catch some rays, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a little bit of, even though it's spring break in the mountains, it kind of feels a little bit like a beach sometimes. So yeah. we'll take it. <laughs> and we have the beach. The beach. Basin <laughs> as well. Yes, yes. The beach is our free slope side parking. Um, you can also reserve spots if you want for a fee, and you can do that online at ArapahoeBasin.com. But the free parking is down near the poly. It's a great spot. Get there early, grab your grill, bring some friends, and hang out in the sun. It's such a blast. That's what I think of when I think of March and yeah. spring break here in Summit County. And I think what a lot of other people think of, too, it's it's about the skiing, but it's really about the socializing and being outside in the sunshine. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's kind of, it's one of the great parts. Skiing's such a social thing, and it's super fun. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> talk about spring events coming up. I know a, a basin constantly has events going on. Yes, yes. So this Saturday is our first Alpenglow Ascents Rando Series race. Um, mm -hmm. Registration for that starts at 3:30. Race starts at 4:30. So if you're a Skinner, come on up, get your workout on, and then get in for some apre. And at uh, the end of the month, we've got fun stuff coming up for everyone. So whether you're a, a soaker, a sun soaker, or a hardcore skier like these people who will be here on Saturday, um, you can join us for our Save Our Snow Day at the okay. end of March. It's on the 26th. And that's a benefit for the High Country Conservation Center. And it's also a demo day. So skis and snowboards, um, plenty of prizes and uh, stuff to see up there and then the next day is Easter and that's our beach and egg hunt totally free open to kids of all ages That sounds like a really family-friendly event the egg hunt. Absolutely. Yeah, it really is. It's a great time We do two egg hunts the first one we do on Molly Hogan and that's for the younger kids who may not be on skis or snowboards yet So it's really easy to walk um, up that hill and grab some eggs and then the second one is on Wrangler So if your kids are a little bit older they're skiing and snowboarding. Take them down the winding beginner Wrangler, Wrangler Trail and they can grab some fun stuff there. Cool. Um, and just for people who don't know, the High Country Conservation Center is really valuable mm -hmm. here. And I assume it kind of ties in with the Save Our Snow, just sort of conservation efforts that Arapahoe Basin is really excellent at supporting. Yeah, you know, they're one of our big, um, our big uh, charities that we uh, sponsor uh, at the basin and twenty dollars from each lift ticket purchased at the window goes to them that day also so if you have friends coming into town it's a great idea to get a ticket at the window because you can donate a little bit of money there also just by skiing um, and yeah they'll be up there talking about what they do in the community um, I know they've helped us out a lot with uh, our sustainability efforts at the mountain and we're more than happy to give back to them awesome um, I know I mention it constantly in our snow reports, but where can people go for more information? What's the website? Everything you need is at ArapahoeBasin.com. Perfect. Adrian, thank you so much for hanging out today. Aw, thanks for having me. It's nice to hang out here. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll see you later at work as well. Sounds good. <laughs> Stay tuned for more Summit Sunrise. Lauren is live at Burke and Riley's Irish Pub in Breckenridge, and we will have our watch and win question coming up for your chance to win $25 to Burke and Riley's for the upcoming St. Patrick's Day celebrations.